Hello and welcome to COVID-19 News Bulletin brought to you by Qatar Media Corporation. His Excellency the Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa bin Abdulaziz Al Thani, chaired the Cabinet's extraordinary meeting held on Monday evening via video conferencing. During the meeting, the Cabinet was briefed on the latest updates and developments related to COVID-19 and issued many decisions that include making the installation of Ehtaraz app on smartphones mandatory for all citizens and residents when leaving the house for any reason. Having more than two people in a vehicle is also against the laws. Passengers commuting in taxis, limousines and those commuting in private vehicles driven by the driver of the family are exempt from this decision. The Cabinet has also decided that practicing sports shall be permitted only in close proximity to one's residence and avoiding group gatherings during exercise and taking necessary precautions by wearing masks and maintaining the safe distance will be mandatory. The Cabinet also decided to close all shops and halt all commercial activities starting from today, the 19th of May, to the end of the month. This applies to all commercial activities except food and catering shops, pharmacies and restaurants that provide food delivery service. His Excellency the Prime Minister and Minister of Interior Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa bin Abdulaziz Al Thani has directed to extend the period of the National Response Guarantees Program, which provides guarantees to local banks by the Qatar Development Bank to become interest-free for a full year instead of six months. The contracting and construction sector are included in the beneficiary sectors within the same controls and conditions. The Ministry of Public Health announced today 1,637 new confirmed cases of coronavirus and 735 people recovered from the disease during the last 24 hours, bringing the total number of recovery cases in Qatar to 5,634 cases. 24 cases were admitted to intensive care due to health complications in the last 24 hours, bringing the total number of cases receiving medical care in intensive care to 163 cases. The Primary Healthcare Corporation has announced the working hours for health centres during the Eid al-Fitr holiday from May 19th to 28th. The community call centre will operate continuously from 7am to 11pm. The medicine delivery service will stop on Sunday and Monday, May 24th and May 25th and will resume work on Tuesday, May 26th. Hamad Medical Corporation's Child Development Centre has introduced virtual clinics for its medical and therapy programs. The initiative, which uses VC telemedicine solution to provide medical consultations via video conferencing, is part of nationwide efforts to ensure continuity of healthcare for pediatric patients with mental and physical disabilities, as well as developmental and learning delays. Al-Zaim Mohammed bin Abdullah al Atiya Air College performed an air show on Monday in a humanitarian initiative to salute and thank the medical staff working in the front line in combating the coronavirus pandemic in the state of Qatar. The Ministry of Education and Higher Education has amended some provisions of the annual calendar of schools for the 2019 and 2020 academic year. Now, the dates for the second semester exams for all grades, that is grade 1 to grade 12, and adult education will be from August 23, 2020 to August 31, 2020. Qatar Red Crescent Society has distributed food baskets to families in 16 countries as part of the Ramadan Iftar project. All precautions have been taken to ensure protection against coronavirus. With that, we wrap up today's COVID-19 Bulletin. For more updates, you can follow us on our social media platforms at COVID-19 Qatar and detailed news can be found at our website covid19qatar.info. Thank you for tuning in and we'll be back with more news updates tomorrow. Take care.